Rosangela Parker here, uh, Executive Director of City District Inc. City District is a nonprofit organization located in the heart of downtown Orlando. We are a nationally accredited Main Street. Uh, today, to um, help us in this conversation about developing diverse leadership, we've invited several of our board members, including Mr. Doug Taylor, current president of City District, George Maltezos, vice president of City District, Jorge Vercera, who may be running behind a few minutes here with the Cultural Affairs Committee for, um, for our organization. He is a current chairman and Mr. Justin Williams, one of our current board members as well. We'd like to welcome you all to the conference. We're thankful to have you here with us this morning. And um, we'd like to go ahead and start with some introductions. Uh, Mr. Doug Taylor, if you would please share a little bit about yourself, please. Uh, certainly, uh, Rosangela. First, I'd like to just say uh, to the University of Central Florida and to all the folks that are assembled here today, thank you for this opportunity. Um, we've been hard at work in the city district now for 10 years, and in the last year, we actually changed our brand from the Church Street District where we started and, and wore that brand for the first 10 years to the city district um, in the last year. And we thank Executive Director Rosangela Parker for her leadership and helping us achieve that goal. Uh, my day job is I am the managing partner of Church Street Entertainment. Uh, we are a diversified uh, food, beverage, restaurant, nighttime entertainment company in downtown Orlando. I started that company in 1992 and um, have grown it uh, over the last 28 years. As Rosangela mentioned, I co-founded and continue to be the president of the city district. I've previously served our city and our county uh, as the vice chair and chair and board member for the downtown development board and for our community redevelopment agency advisory board. So. Um, it, is a, a, it is a pleasure to be here today, and I look forward to a very good conversation led by our executive director. Thank you, Rosangela. Thank you, Doug. George, would you please uh, introduce yourself to the rest of the team here? Hi, good morning. Uh, and once again, thank you for uh, inviting me and allowing me to speak um, here at the uh, UCF forum here. And um, well, I've been on uh, our property for about 25 years here locally uh, in Orlando. Um, I am, you know, a co-founder of the uh, city district as well as Doug. Um, we're very proud of the work we've done and, and how we were able to, to expand uh, from a small uh, network to a very large uh, um, part of the city. Um, we encompass pretty much of the whole downtown of Orlando our whole entertainment and um, uh, business district. Uh, very proud of that achievement over the last 10 years. Um, uh, personally, um, I've been in this business since I was uh, 18 years old. Hospitality business, restaurants, uh, nightclubs, bars, and we are currently, um, the last 25 years, have been involved in live music, uh, uh, nightclub, bars, and uh, restaurants. Uh, from Orange Avenue, our, our, our local uh, entertainment area, and all the way around to the historic Church Street. Um, my network also owns property in these areas. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, we're concerned about the historic nature of it and, and just the all around health of our community. And I, I too, as a Doug volunteer, I'm on the Nighttime Club uh, Committee uh, with the city of Orlando, um, and that's been going good. Uh, the city mayor, the nighttime mayor is a position that was just formed probably about five years ago. It was one, the first in the, in, in, in the nation, um, probably about third or fourth in, in the world. Uh, I think London uh, was pretty much the first uh, nighttime mayor position. So. Um, we got a lot of stuff going on here in Orlando, and I'm very proud to be part of it, and thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you so much, George. And I see Mr. Justin Williams is here with us this morning. Justin, could you share a little bit about you? Absolutely. Um, good morning, everyone, and ben, thank you for inviting me. Um, my name is Justin Williams. I'm the general manager of the Grand Bohemian Hotel um, here in downtown Orlando. It's uh, 247 rooms. Um, 
luxury property that's here in here in the area. Um, also part of the Kessler collection as well as autograph collection by Marriott. Um, I'm also part of the well, the chairman of the diversity council, newly formed diversity council for the Central Florida Hotel Lodging Association, as well as a board member of the city the, the city district, as well as the um, uh, Orlando Regional Chamber and the Downtown Orlando Partnership. Um, you know, we, we find ourselves to be very, very active in this community. Uh, but we, you know, we employ people. Well, we've gone through some of the hardships that have happened in this community. So and we believe that we are part of the fabric of what, of what makes our community great. Um, we're definitely um, happy to be here and I'm happy to be here to represent and discuss all things um, diversity in our, in our business. Thank you. Thank you so much for that introduction, Justin. I do believe uh, Jorge is not with us yet this, this morning. So if, if you um, don't mind, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of kick off the conversation a little bit uh, with the board. And if he's able to join us, I uh, will make sure to um, give him a, a proper opportunity to introduce himself. Um, just to get the conversation started, um, George, would you be able to share with us, uh, with all of us here, how would you describe the climate of diversity here in City District? Um, I would say it's very diverse and uh, it's, it's a melting pot of, of cultures, uh, uh, religions. Uh, there's, uh, you know, uh, I pretty much, I, I stand on the street at night um, when I'm running my businesses and uh, I, I get to see all the people that are visiting us and walking up and down the sidewalks um, and when the nighttime entertainment's going on. And uh, I could tell you, it's uh, very diverse and mixed. And, uh, you know, I, I find people that always visit our city uh, amazed at the different cultures that, that are uh, pretty much going out together and mixing and, you know, it, from uh you know uh it, it from every sec and uh they are you know always amazed that their city is not like ours and uh you know that makes me feel good that the diver diversity is so large in our city and and uh you know uh to explain it would be um that's a big gumbo soup <laughs> you know <laughs> And everybody's doing the same thing and getting along and having a great time, you know. And that's that's pretty much in a nutshell how I feel about it and how what I see when I'm out there personally. Yeah, I noticed that, that there is a huge, um, it, it's a melting pot downtown, a huge group of diverse cultures, religions, ethnicities, you name it. And um, everyone seems to really coexist. Obviously, there's been some friction and a lot of conversation about integrating diversity, especially in, in organizations. And I noticed coming into City District, prior to the Church Street District, that we already had a diverse board. So Doug, could you share with us, what does it mean to you to have this commitment to diversity and how have you demonstrated that commitment as the leader of City District? Uh, well, I, you know, first, uh, Rosangela, I think there's many leaders in the city district, but uh, from a board perspective and from uh, my perspective, uh, diversity is the only moral choice that we can make uh, as a board, a nonprofit board, as leaders uh, and as citizens uh, in our country. Um, it is in some ways remarkable that, you know, 244 years later, we're still trying to live up to you know Thomas Jefferson's words that all men are created equal and then still yet trying to live up to the women's suffrage movement from the early 20th century who adopted that phrase and modernized it in that era and said that all men and women are created equal and so for me as president of, of this particular nonprofit um, I, I would reiterate that diversity in leadership, diversity in board membership, diversity in our volunteer base is the only moral choice that we can make as Americans. I, I think that's 
an absolute fact. I think anyone who would dispute that um, would have a very difficult uh, debate, I, I feel. Uh, you know, the city of Orlando, Orange County, our region, you know, last year, pre-pandemic, we had 75 million visitors from around the globe visit this great city and this great region of ours. One of the reasons, quite apart from the excellence of marketing and excellence of opportunities that our theme parks provide that I feel that so many people from around the globe visit here is when they arrive in Orlando, they see a diverse community. They see a community that works together. They see people who look like them and who in many instances speak a language with whom they are familiar. And I think for those of us who are blessed with the privilege of providing any type of involvement or leadership in the nonprofit space, I think that in seeking out diversity, we are simply providing what our society must have. And so we can talk and probably will, uh, Rosangela, later uh, on this panel as to the mechanics of how we achieve that or historically how we've done it in the city district and the Church Street district as its predecessor. But diversity and leadership is the only moral choice there is to make. And Rosangela, could you could you unmute yourself? We have. Am I unmuted now? Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for that. It really does help to provide a, a vision as to what we want to see in our organization. Uh, Justin, could you share for us uh, what you have seen? What is your vision of diversity? Seeing that you operate in in a variety of different nonprofit boards as well as run. Uh, an organization that, that serves the community um, through your hospitality? Uh, you know, so I, I come from, you know, I've lived all, actually from, lived in uh, quite a few areas across the country, um, Boston, San Francisco, Chicago, um, DC. Um, when I first came to Orlando, to be quite honest, I didn't think it was it was that diverse. But I will say this: in working in this in the downtown core in the city district, it is almost like the beta test, and it's the example of what diversity should be within our community. Because if you step outside of our our downtown core, it sometimes doesn't look this way. But here in this community, it's very very very, very diverse. Downtown Orlando Partnership, the city district, a lot of the boards that I sit on, you see people from all over the globe, religions, um, orientations, you name it. They're very, very diverse. Um, from a hospitality's perspective, um, we're getting there. That's why the Diversity Council has been, has been formed. Um, I'm currently, um, I believe, one of uh, two um, African-American general managers um, within our Central Florida, Central Florida community. Um, there are women, um, not many, but there are women that are there as well. So we're trying to make the right decisions. I think one, we have to look at and see what is it and why, um, if we aren't diverse, why aren't, why aren't we diverse? So from a hospitality perspective, we've actually taken a look and said, where is, a, where is the stoppage? Where is, it, where is it happening that diversity isn't spreading? So for us, we've taken a look at it and said, hey, you know what, from that middle management perspective, that's kind of where the ceiling stops for people and doesn't expand out. So from a hospitality perspective, we're looking at that middle management and making sure that we're, we're bringing in some diversity in, in, into the mix. Um, but overall, I do believe that our downtown is a great, way to start and hopefully that spreads out to the rest of the Central Florida region. All right. Um, so thank you, Justin. I think it really does speak to what downtown Orlando um, is all about. Um, as you can tell, 
from our rebranding efforts to City District, the heart of Orlando, this is, it feels like the heart of Orlando. We have so many people, so much diversity, so much inclusion, and I think um, it shows in each one of our board members that um, part of this process is really to embody this in our everyday lives and, and how we carry ourselves in, in, in our personal and business environment um, um, have has the city district integrated that multicultural issues as part of the organization Doug would you like to elaborate a little bit what is what is city district doing to really embrace the multicultural issues and and addressing those challenges uh, certainly Rose Angela number one uh, what we've done in the last uh, year is um, we realized that in Jorge Becerra, who had, as you mentioned, is having some technical difficulties, or he would be here himself, um, is the co-owner of CFS Coffee. That's his day job. Um, 